Imagine we have a diver who is in equilibrium and that means there's no net force actually on them. And perhaps their velocity is zero, so they're not moving up or moving down. We can look at maybe a free body diagram to look at the forces acting upon them. And the force which is acting downwards is equal to weight. But there's also going to be a force which is acting in the upwards direction, the thing that stops them from sinking. And it's this force here that we call up thrust. And this video really explains a bit more about this force called up thrust and Archimedes principle. Now I'd like to represent this diver by just this uh, straightforward block over here as we consider the forces which are acting on it. Now uh, this block here, it's got a certain cross-sectional area which I'm going to call A. And uh, what I'd like to consider is if we have uh, this block at a certain depth which is H. We also have uh, a certain distance that this block goes down which I'm going to call X. What I'd like to consider is the force which is acting here and also the force which is acting down here. I'm going to call this one F1 and this one F2. Now, we know that the pressure is equal to the force per unit area. And therefore, if we want to know the, the force, it's equal to the pressure due to that fluid multiplied by the cross-sectional area. Now, for the force at the very top, which I'm going to call F1, we need to think about the, the pressure at this depth. Now, the pressure at any depth is equal to rho GH. So for force one, we've got a pressure of rho g h, and we multiply that by the area, which is a. So this is a force acting down on the top of that block. If, uh, again, everything's nicely in equi equilibrium, we've also got a force acting upwards at the bottom, and we're gonna call this F2. Now here, the pressure is equal to rho g h plus x, because what we have is a bottom is at a lower depth than the top. And this is going to be the pressure, again, multiplied by A. Now, if we, if we want to look at the resultant force, we can say that res the resultant force R is going to be equal to F2 minus F1. And therefore, the resultant force upwards is equal to rho G H plus X multiplied by A minus rho G H A. And what we have then is this term, the rho G H A, uh, cancels, with, cancels with this term here. This means the resultant force is equal to rho g x a. And this is uh, what we call the up thrust. And from this equation, the important thing to note is that effectively the, the height of this object multiplied by its cross-sectional area is equal to the volume. So x times a is equal to the volume. And now what we're doing is we can say the resultant force is equal to rho v g. But if we look at the volume multiplied by the density of an object, this is then equal to the mass. And therefore, the resultant force is equal to mg. And uh, if we think about what mg is representing, well, this is just equal to the weight. So Archimedes' principle basically states that the, the size of this upthrust on an object or on a body immersed in a fluid, and this could either be partially or completely submerged, is equal to the weight of fluid that that body displaces.